What's going on guys? Today we're playing some RC Simulation 2.0 as you can see in the title right there. This is an early access version. If you're watching this video in the future, look at the upload date and note that this is this is early access. And I'm just gonna be doing a quick little review of this thing. I think it's like it's on sale for Steam right now. I, I don't remember the price. I think it's under twenty dollars. Do not remember the exact price, don't quote me on that at all. But I emailed the guy that made the game, he decided he'd give me a copy to give a review on. So first thing I'm going to go over is the options here, which is, um, this is all under construction, and this is what bothers me more. Um, for inputs, you can, I've gotten this to work with my tr actual RC transmitter for, with the DRC Pro adapter, but using that, it's, it's kind of very iffy and laggy, it's not really usable. There's other stuff, there's video, you can't really change that right here. And um, audio, this is what bothers me. I can't turn off the menu music right now. So we're gonna get out, in case this menu music is copyrighted, we're getting out of the menu right now because you can't turn off the menu music, which actually bothers me quite a bit because it's very loud and obnoxious and I can't turn it off right now, which that irks me more than anything right now. But anyways, we're gonna get into this. Uh, we'll just go for, again, this, is a, this game does have a track editor with it, which we get all these community tracks from, which that's very, very, like BRC Pro, I guess, would be the thing to compare this against because it's the other RC simulator. But there is no... There, there is no um, track editor with VRC Pro. VRC Pro doesn't have one. I was told they're not going to implement one when I asked about that. This does have a track editor, which is cool. But as we're going to see in a couple minutes here, if you're going to compare this with VRC Pro, this gra the graphics in this obviously are not going to be up to par with VRC Pro because that's a very... I think there's a team of people behind VRC Pro that made it, whereas this is being made by one person, I believe. If uh, we get loaded up here with the 8th scale buggy... Alright, where are we at? Where's the buggy? There's the buggy. All right. First thing to note here is these cars do feel cons they feel extremely slow to me. At least unless you maybe you can change the gearing or something in the future. But this car, like this, this is an eighth scale buggy, and if I floor it, it's topping out at 35, 30, 34 miles per hour as you saw right there in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Other thing that's kind of cool about this, there are track marshals that actually run over and try and fix the car. Look at that. Look at that. He's actually going. He's gonna fix it. He's gonna fix it. And he actually fixes the car, so that's kind of cool. But um, yeah, these cars do feel extremely slow to me. I, I, I it's not just feeling like even it says a speed. Oh, that's the other thing. The marshal can't get to the car. That's neat because VRC Pro just resets you, or this relies on marshals to go be able to get to the car to fix you. Which I guess it's kind of cool to have marshals animated in this. But um, big problem with this is the cars are extremely slow, as you can see right there. They they don't go very fast, and that I. That, that that breaks a lot of the realism to me is the cars are not very fast as they are in reality. But for an RC simulator, being maybe one person, it's actually just pretty fun to play with. As just, um, this is, again, early access, so bear that in mind as I'm saying all this. But as for being a simulator, n not so much. It's, uh, we get some interesting texture issues with this track. Like, this is a community track, by the way, so I'm going to go on a different track that doesn't have all those little errors going on there for you to vehicles. Uh, I'm going to keep it that 1 8 scale thing. We're going to tracks over there. And these are the tracks, I believe. Official tracks. There we go. This is an official track. Let's go there. Uh, let's hit the go button. Let's go for practice. But, um, yeah, as an actual simulator, I can't say this works out too well because I've used them. Um, I've gotten my actual RC transmitter for my tracks as Slash working with this using the VRC Pro adapter. But with that. The way the VRC Pro adapter works, I guess, is it inputs turn right and turn left as a button instead of an axis, so you have to end up playing this game on a controller, which, don't get me wrong, it still works pretty well for a controller, it's just kind of difficult to drive from this point of view as a simulation using a controller, and again, the cars do feel pretty slow. But after we've gotten out of the way, we'll take the game for what it is, and we'll see what's going on here. we got a nice little double right there, I think this is probably a short course truck track, not an 8th scale buggy track, because, uh... This buggy might be a bit fit fast for it, but like even the trucks, they all seem to top out at the same speed, just some of them accelerate faster than others. And there is no reverse in this game from what I can tell. I haven't been able to get reverse to work with any cars, so every time you bump into something, you have to wait for a marshal to come fix you, which I, that's, oh, that's a bad view right there. <laughs> Things blocking my view. Anyway, let's get into some of the other cameras here. There is the um, F3 for follow cam. Yeah, the, oh, the marshal die. <laughs> fix my car, damn it. There we go. Alright, anyway, there's this camera to follow the car, so this is a, quite a bit easier to drive on the controller. If you can follow behind the car, let's just go for a nice little double-double there. Case to double, of course, because at Case of Life, that's how we do. But yeah, if you can just follow the car around like this, and this camera, which is considerably easier, especially when you're driving on a controller, as opposed to driving it with a transmitter. Then you come around here, and there's this nice little double you can hit. There we go. And a nice little single over. 
know, the right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand. There's a huge bump right there, which you wouldn't see normally from the tower. It's kind of hard to see that. All right, we'll settle for a double, double. Ah, let's keep the car on the wheels. But the thing I want to point out here, if I, uh, I need to roll the car over to show this, because I don't, I don't think BRC does this, but this game does it. I just need to find somewhere to roll this car over really quickly, and then I will be able to demonstrate this. Here, let's just flip the car over. No, I did... The one time I don't want to land on the wheels, I land on the wheels. I should, Let me flip the car over, please. Here, just jump and flip. Flip it over and stay on the roof. Land on the roof. Okay, this is interesting. The one time I'm actually trying to get the car to flip over, I can't manage to flip it. Jeez. Okay, so let's pretend I'm just driving normally and not trying to flip the car, then maybe I'll be able to flip it. Right there you go. See the tires? See how they balloon out when you hit the throttle? Like, that actually happens in reality, and this game actually modeled that, which is kind of cool. That's interesting. Anyway, let's go mess with another track now, because that's the big thing with this game, is there's track editors, so there's lots of fun tracks to mess with. Uh, we can try NFR race track. That looks interesting. We were just there, actually. That was the broken one. RC Park. That looks cool. All right. Uh, so for vehicles, we'll take the 10th scale, but, you know, let's take a 10th scale short horse truck. Uh, let's grab the two-wheel drive one, and let's hit go. And again, there are, like, th this is a bit more ambitious, I guess, than just VRC Pro, because VRC is, like, just short course racing and on-road racing kind of thing, whereas this is going for, like, everything RC. Like, as you saw, there's boats and, like, those quadcopters in here. I don't know. I'm going to call them quadcopters. They're not drones. That, that drives me crazy when people call them all drones. It's, no, it's a quadcopter. A drone can fly autonomously. Quadcopters require user input. It's not a drone unless it's capable of flying on its own without any user input. Like, a drone is the type of thing where you just tap four buttons on a map, and it will fly to the four spots you've marked on the map, whereas a quadcopter is one that actually has a transmitter and requires you to fly it. Anyway, uh, this game, uh, yeah, it's pretty fun. You can mess with the short course trucks in this. They handle sort of realistically, from what I can tell, but again, if you're going to compare this to another simulator that's out there, which is the only other simulators out there I can imagine is VRC Pro, and the VRC Pro is obviously leaps and bounds ahead of this, but this is being made by one person. Again, this is an early access, so keep that in mind with everything here, but this is a fun thing to mess with. It's very difficult to drive from the podium or rostrum view in this game, for the controller at least, so that's why I tend to use this, or if we go to F4, or after we... And that F4, there's an onboard, which is kind of nice, because VRC Pro doesn't have one of these views, which would be nice if VRC Pro had this, but it doesn't, and this game does, and this onboard's actually usable, and if we can get fixed here... There. Come on, come on, fix the car. Fix the car. You can't actually run the marshals over, which is what's happening right now. Alright, there we go. I think we're good now. Let's get back on the track. Um... Okay, I don't really know what's going on here. There we go. I think we're good. I think we're good. Maybe. Hold on. Let's, I can't tell what's going on here. It's uh, F1. F2 for... No, that's not it. I want done. I guess we have to go click done. Oh. Okay, I just did something. Alright, tracks. Let's go to a different track than I. Not sure what I just happened to do there, but there's there's a lot of different tracks. Like there, Here's a short course track. Let's go play with this. Again, with the short course truck. This, there's just a lot for, I think, I believe, I don't remember the exact price at the time. I think this game is under $20, though, I think. Maybe it was on sale when I'm saying that. I don't know. I remember, this game's not as expensive, as, not nearly as expensive as DRC Pro, and for the price, I'd honestly suggest you pick this up. And you, you, you'll get your money's worth out of this if we can... All right, which way is this track supposed to go here? I feel like it's going this way. Let's go that way. And it's, ooh, let's get around that corner. There's like some pipes. This is, again, this is a community-created track here. A, a guy actually made this. This is not from the guy that made the game that made this track. This is a community track, because there is a track editor in this game, which is nice. Can't really tell what's what there, so just hit that jump and hope for the best. And, hey, we actually made it around that time. All right. Again, this is very difficult to drive from this point of view in this game, just because the controller and the, the... I don't know how to explain it. Like, with VRC Pro, it's a lot easier to drive from this view than it is... In this game, for whatever reason, I, I can't really explain it, put a finger on why it just is. But this track, uh, maybe it's just the tracks in that were made to, or are based off real tracks. So you can actually see where you're going a lot easier. Whereas I feel like a lot of people to make tracks for this are making them so that you can to go and follow the car with it, or get the onboard view with F4. Which again, this onboard actually is pretty cool. Get over there. Let's go through. There's some little bumps right there. 
Just banked up corner. A little off camber. I guess that's the track's biggest jump right there. This track's this is a very tight track too to know. We'll probably go check out a couple other tracks as long as we're doing this. Actually, we're gonna go check out some other stuff in the game. Um We'll check out some more short course in a minute, but vehicles, there's obviously there's air and there's boats. So let's check out a drone for a quadcopter first. There's a racing one, that's like a uh, aerial camera one, there's another racing drone, and that's just uh I don't know, that's, just, that's also a racing one, I guess. This is that's let's try this one. This one looks like a fun racing one. Uh tracks. Where do we want to go for a track? Um hmm, 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 hmm. Crawler map test. I remember that didn't work out. Tricky trick. This is a fun track. We'll, we'll we'll have to mess with this one next, but uh okay, go then. Go to practice, and uh, here we go. And since we are using a controller, this actually does fly pretty correctly off of a controller. It's kinda Hard to get the throttle control dead on because obviously, ooh, we were not supposed to hit that button. I forgot F1 does that. We don't want to hit that. Uh, let's go to practice again. Uh, with the con with like um the controllers, it actually does fly these quadcopters better because um th it, that's how they're made to fly with the two stick thing. Uh, where are we actually at here? Where are we at? All right, there's a drone in the distance. If you can bring it to me, I'm gonna go this way. Maybe is it coming to me or going away? I can't tell. That's coming towards me. All right, that's coming towards me as well. All right, it's coming towards me. Let's bring it down here. Again, this, this actually does fly considerably well off of a controller and does sort of. In my extremely limited experience with these things, this does fly sort of realistically. And again, that's extremely limited experience for me flying these little quadcopters, but it does sort of feel correctly. Like, that's. There's not really too much. all that much to flying how these quadcopters, because they keep themselves balanced and you just go. You, you go forward or back and they just balance themselves. I guess so you can like bump into walls and stuff and not crash it, so I guess that part isn't terribly realistic, but uh, let's see, F4. It's actually an onboard camera, this is kind of cool, so you can get like, if you made a track and you wanted to get some cool screenshots of it, you could use this to do that. Look at that, look at that. Eh? Eh? Let's turn on here, let's go, let's dive bomb this little course here if we can. Uh, this is so. This actually is really difficult to fly. I lied. So let's go fairly fast, though. Let's, let's hit this blimp. Let's see if we can crash into the blimp over here. So that is a blimp you can crash into. Let's just crash into it from this view and see what it looks like. Come on. Come on, hit the blimp. Hit the blimp. Get up there, let's go, let's go hit the blimp. Do it, do it, do it. And we're upside down, and now we're just magically right side up again. So that's the drones, or the quadcopters. Now let's go back to the main menu, let's grab a boat. Um, that looks interesting, that looks interesting, that looks interesting, and that also looks interesting. We're gonna grab, uh, grab this guy though, and uh, tracks. I downloaded the boat track for this, so uh, community tracks. There should be one called like Rocky Timbers, Rock the Boat or something I think it was called. Is that it? No, it's, that's not that's That's an actual RC track. Um, somewhere I have a thing called Rock the Boat, something like that. That should be a boat track. Um, there it is, Rock the Boat. There we go. And let's hit the go button and let's go for a practice run through here. And we'll, we'll see what's going on with uh, this little boat here. Come on, let's go. And it's loading. Oh, geez, that's fast. Oh, geez. That, that, oh, geez, that, that is. That is out of the water. Marshall! Okay, I don't think we're going to get Marshall here. I'm just going to reset the vehicle. Where am I at if I go to F2? Yeah, I can't even see where this thing's at. We're going to have to... Oh, 
Jesus! Oh, that is so fast. Oh, jeez. Oh, gee, oh, God, this is so hard to control. It's so fast that we hit a wall. Oh, oh, boy. So, so much speed right here. Hey, we hit a rock. All right, here, let's go again. It's funny that big arrow's the point where you're turning here, that's nice. Uh, oh, that way, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh boy, oh boy, get get back in the water. Be neat if there's like a waterfall or something I have to jump down on this. It'd be fun. Alright. This thing is so fast. Oh. Oh boy. Alright, keep the keep the other going. Full power, full power, brakes, full power, full power, brake. I don't know if this button actually had the brakes do anything, but hey, we actually got a lap done maybe. You can just avoid hitting the wall for a little bit longer. Oh, we hit a wall. So that was most of a lap done without hitting a wall there. Uh, oh boy, oh, we're just crashing all over the place now. This is just so, so damn fast. What happens if I just plow into this thing? Can I jump a boat? Apparently not, alright. Oh, this is just so fast. This is just ridiculous. It's just so much... Oh, slide. Oh, we can jump. Bet, I bet we can jump that. I bet we can jump that in the boat. Here we go. That <laughs> eh, sort of. We're gonna turn it around here, I wonder. Here. Okay, fit full speed. You got a little bit of air time in the boat. Nice. And. There we go. Let's pull it back and uh, floor it. Yeah, that's a. Uh, that's a fast accelerating boat. And get around that corner. Nope. Okay, that's the boats. And I, did I just flip it over? We have a sub. Oh, man, we have a submarine. Oh. Oh, man, submarine. Oh, yeah, that's. This is the best. This is. I like how if it does come out of the water, the power does stop, though. That's, that's nice. And, uh, got ourselves a nice little racing submarine here. Obviously, the physics are being... There's issues with that, the way the physics are being calculated for the boats. Or else that wouldn't be happening. So, we'll go back and we'll check out one more track with the short course trucker with some sort of buggy, I guess. Uh, um, let's grab the 10th scale four-wheel drive short course. Uh, let's grab a buggy. Actually, I haven't used these 10th scale buggies yet, so we'll grab that. And for the track, there was that tricky trails thing I wanted to do really quick, because that's just fun. Uh, where was that? Tricky trials. There we go. And now we're going to go here and go for practice. And we'll be hitting up uh, just one little more track here, and then we'll call it a video, and hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Cause, uh, I think this game's actually pretty fun. I, I originally started playing it, I was kind of disappointed in it, but after I played it for more, this is actually a pretty fun game, I'm not going to lie. So uh, let's get up there. Alright, nice. We got this little step over here. I, I've gotten through this all once. There are no marshals here, so if you screw up once, you have to reset and do it again. It's very, very difficult track to actually do here. Alright, so you gotta get up there. You have, to have, to have enough speed to hit that, but not too much speed here, so you miss. Reset the vehicle there. Alright, here we go, here we go. Through there. Turn around. Transfer up there, hit the brakes, drop the front end down. Okay, we made that. Alright, I just gotta quarter pipe it over here. Alright, we did that. Good. Make it up here. Let's go into the F4 view for this. So this is kind of neat. You can actually see the suspension moving. It's obviously not going to the detail there doesn't appear to be as high as it was in DRC Pro, but it's nice to there is a thought given to that. We're just going to keep full throttle and breaking it until we get the car unstuck here. Just, that is the thing you can do in reality. You just keep going at gas and brake until the car gets unstuck, which is nice if that works. Alright, we made it down. Turn right. Oh, this is a toughie. Oh, no. 
We're gonna get through this thing once. I just want to do this just once for my own confidence. This is a very, very, very difficult track to do. Oh, we came up short. Reset. And up! Alright. There we go. Up to quarter pipe. Hit this. I can't tell what's going on there. We gotta get out of that view so I can actually see. Ooh, this is why it sucks not having a reverse. I can't really... Yep. Again, the reverse just doesn't seem to like to work in this game very much. So we're just going to have to go back and start over from square one. Set breaks, get front end down. Hopefully we don't... Oh, we missed. Reset. Uh, I'll go six more tries of this. This is just such a freaking hard course to do. Let's get this lined up first here. No, not gonna happen. Reset. Through there. There. Tap brakes, set front end down. Oh, oh, we had that. Oh, that's like the hardest part is getting that freaking jump just, just right so you stay on the track. That's right there. That's the hardest part of this track to me. Everything else is pretty simple. That's the hard part. And we gotta get up here. Jump over that. Onto there. Down there. Up to there. Get on this. There we go, nice and easy. Jump up there. Big jump right there. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Dang it. Alright, I don't know what that ding thing actually means, but we'll take we'll hit it just to see if it changes anything. Ooh. Reset. Didn't even get the first jump in that time. That was just sad. Well, I'll do. I just want to get one lap of this track. Just one. I'll be happy. Ah! Such a freaking. Okay, I'll, this is the last try for this video. Then maybe I'll just. If you guys uh, like this video, leave a like, and then maybe in the future I'll play more. I'll play more of this and like come back and do tracks like these challenging tracks like this, where I actually just just one lap, all I want. All right. Ah, Alright, that's going to do it for now. If you guys like this game, leave a like and I'll definitely get some more of this going on with the channel. Hopefully y'all are enjoying this and I will see you all in the future as my voice slowly fades out to black over the screen.